incredible acts of retaliation, some written about by the Daily News reporters, 322 nationwide, 42 Pennsylvanians reported to Roxanne Greenwich Higher Lyrics Administrative Services, and tens of thousands having no vehicle or venue for redress of grievances have resulted in otherwise ethical counsel shying away from representing clients with evidence of business decimation or personal injury having been caused by court with DHS agency and wealthy lawyer colleague corruption. Please intervene. Appoint special prosecutors from outside Eastern District of Pennsylvania to enjoin, stop ongoing irreparable injuries inflicted by state court with state agency malpractice judges, commissioner DHS lawyers, and CPAs, which include but are not limited to systematic denial of due process, forced commercial transactions, theft of vested interest, career theft, personal injuries, disabilities, and wrongful death, victimizations inflicted upon, at the time, 35 and now 42, Roxanne Greenwich doing business as U.S. Citizens Public Docket Database, verified and recorded working class student and impoverished Philadelphia families, perpetrated under color of law by Eastern District Court and First Judicial District Court systematic abuse of immunity language in a Congressional Act 1983 Civil Rights Act. A documented modus operandi of official corruption, recovery at wasting, criminally siphoned money is contextimony and falsification of official court documents systematically practiced by conflict of interest, state and municipality agency, DHS with First Judicial District, State Court and Bar Association, malpractice lawyers and CPAs. U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, tolerance of flagrant errors, censorship and destruction of evidence nurture a state agency, City of Philadelphia, DHS, Legal Department, and First Judicial District Court of Common Pleas, domestic relations, Wolfpack style attack, and, and destruction of working class student and impoverished U.S. citizen families by way of systematic abuse of immunity language in 1983 Civil Rights Act. We have a citizen here who's actually in shock and awe at the gravity of how much life is lost at this uh, onslaught of a child slaughter that's being right, documented. That's in, that's in it now. A systematic child slaughter. This, Children are getting murdered. This September 24, 2010 open letter is respectfully addressed to Pennsylvania gubernatorial candidate Dan Honorado, because you stated on Fox Foot Philly Live News on September 21, 2010, quote, jobs are the only issue, unquote. This outlook unwittingly fuels the financial tunnel vision, corruption of state agency DHS contractors who are flourishing in an economy where working class, student, and impoverished families are the victim pool on which hundreds of multi-million dollar DHS adoptive con foster evaluator contractors feed in vampire-like fashion, advertising job growth on Career Builder, Philadelphia Inquirer, and Daily News, unable to hire social workers and behavioral health specialists fast enough to commit the documented perjury, child abuse registry, identity theft, IRS, and Recovery Act fraud documented suffered by the crime victim pool of families, which is a significant voter constituency with grave and serious and valid concern worthy of an exception, of an expectation that our next Pennsylvania governor and our current Pennsylvania lawmakers and prosecutors will recognize that all family court and DHS adjudications are not in the best interest of children or household finances and should not be enforced, penalized or imposed upon working class student and impoverished families who can show evidence of state agency DHS employee misconduct with family court attorney, child advocate, state judge malpractice. This September 24, 2010 open letter, and this refers to Mr. Tom Corbett, a question that Deborah Young asked him as a victim. This September 24, 2010 
open letter is respectfully addressed to Pennsylvania gubernatorial candidate Tom Corbin because you stated in a Meet the Next Governor Breakfast Series meeting I attended with six families victimized by DHS with Philadelphia Family Court corruption on April 22, 2010 and heard you say you are committed to cleaning up corruption in Harrisburg and because you continue to make this promise during your television campaign commercials, when a voter member of our constituency, that was Deborah M. Young, founder of Justice for Families and Children and a victim of the corrupt relationships formed in Alice Bechtabone's courtroom H, now referred to by families in Philadelphia as courtroom H killing floors. When a voter member of a constituency of crime victims created by DHS with family court corruption asked you whether you would acknowledge and meet with representatives of a large specialized group of crime victims not complaining about any existing policies, laws, and procedures. As much as we hold evidence gathered responsibly, we want to transmit to our elected officials who we trusted to guard our Pennsylvania constitutional rights, our public safety, and our city charters, you politely sidestepped any acknowledgement of this voter constituency's concerns by answering, quote, all I know about DHS is what I read in the newspaper, unquote. Pennsylvania City's elected officials, including mayors and district attorneys overwhelmed with budget crises, are complacent participants in the kidnap for profit, personal injuries, wrongful deaths, and lost economy enriching careers contributions of working class student and impoverished victim American families having no protection, scared mayors and district attorneys who have become powerless to honor their oaths taken to enforce their very own city charters, guard public safety, civil rights, and state's constitutions under the thumb of an out of control bullying, retaliatory, cash cow, state agencies, Department of Human Services, DHS, whose employees and management are abusing their agency and state court positioning to systematically inflict felony crimes upon working class, student, and impoverished victim families to defraud Recovery Act, Stimulus, and Federal Children's Protective Services funding in favor of the financial agendas of state agencies, DHS contractors, traumatizing, injuring, and disabling through kidnap for profit would-be careers contributors into economy-enriching industries such as education, technology, military, defense, bioengineering, healthcare, medicine, science, space travel, community development, small business development, siphoned, embezzled, forced into states and U.S. economy destroying industries of pedophilia, incarceration, sex entertainment, social security disability, runaways and homelessness, alcoholism, addiction, self-hate, depression, and perpetual self-destructive behaviors, having been robbed of heritage, family history, and knowledge of self, theft of vested interests, religious freedoms, and right to pursuit of happiness, career theft.